You can start with. Yeah, have you all uh, completed this one? I have asked you to proceed with this one. A par n, B par n. Have you all tried this? Yes, what? Yes, good. Yes, ma'am. Yes, what? Can you please, can anyone come up with the grammar? Yes, please. Um, small uh, a. Yes, Jirais. Ah, uh, small, small a. Small a, capital A. Small a, capital A. Ah. Uh. And then small b, capital B, where a is just a or epsilon, and b is b or epsilon. Is that right? Okay. There should be at least one A. And yes, one B. please wait here. Yes, good. Okay. So here, what happens? So here, what is given here in this particular language? The number of A's and number of B's will be should be equal. Okay. Number of A's and number of B's should be equal. So, but what will happen here? So for this, so one thing is that I can only generate A A B B. So you suppose I can proceed with A, A, B, B, right? Like this, right? So, but what happens? So, the number of A's and number of B's will not be equal. Do you accept this? this oh, okay. Yes, yeah. right. So, very good. You have tried this. Okay. So, here. Ma yes, ma'am. Ma'am, for I tried this way. I said S hmm. is A, capital hmm. A, B, and A is A B. Mm -hmm. A is A B. A B. Or A A capital A B. Huh? A capital A B. Yes. Yes. So here, as you say, yes, as you say, it will be generating equal number of A's and B's, right? So here, instead of generating, so here you can see, right, S derives A, A, B and A derives A, B or A, A, B, right? So here we are, we are introducing as good. This will generate equal number of A's and B's. So instead of this, what we can do is you can use the single. So unwanted the transitions are there, right? So A and then A again, I have to proceed with that, right? So instead what I can do is S derives A as B or A, B. That's it, right? S derives A as B or A, B. So what happens? So here, for example, let me start with this production. S derives A as B. So for this particular S, yes, I can again either go for this one or this one. Let me proceed with this one, okay? So A, A, S, B, B, right? So in this case, let me proceed with this one. So I'll be generating equal number of A's and equal number of B's. Yes, of course, this is also good, but here, um, uh, the number of non-terminals um, we are introducing additional non-terminal, right? So instead we can represent it by this way itself. Okay, good, very good for your interest. Okay. So here is derives. Oh, okay, again the same thing. You can go for any of the production. The only thing is that any of the grammar. The only thing is that uh, we have to generate the. Uh, language mentioned that's it okay so here whenever a par n b par n so please make a note of all these uh, productions okay so when we further proceed we will be in a position to use these and all okay next what i have asked i have asked you design the grammar for palindrome so what is palindrome palindrome is nothing but that is word and word reverse. I can go for this one. Okay. So here again, the word in the sense, the input alphabet is nothing but A comma B. So here, if it is word, word uh, reverse, then it is going to be even length palindrome, right? So if there is, so for example, A, B, A or A, B, B. Okay. So then palindrome will be B, B, A. So that is, this is word and this is word reverse. Okay. So this is a 
even length palindrome okay so if we talk of a odd length palindrome in the center i will be having some alphabet so either i can have a or i can have b okay so so in the center i can have a different word and i can go for that is intermediate that will be having one thing so uh, the front part will be reversed here after the midpoint okay so here in this case, I'll be getting a odd length palindrome. Okay, so uh, here we uh, have asked you to design the uh, palindrome. So what is a palindrome? So here, what is the meaning? This and this should be matching. This and this should be matching. This and this should be matching, right? Okay, so here, what should I do? So here, A is derived. So if A comes, I should have A here, right? A should, I, I should have A. Okay, and similarly, if B comes, I should have B here. Okay, if B comes, I should have B here. So I should include the terminators, terminals, right? So here, this will be generating uh, uh, the strings, but it, it it will not terminate, right? So for example, let me take this one. Okay, so if I introduce this one, I'll be having A B S B A. I should terminate this, right? So for this, I have to include one terminal symbol. So what may be the terminal symbol? So for example, if I want to go for an even length palindrome, what should be the production present? Even length palindrome. So, so if, if it needs to be even length palindrome, so what should be coming here? Epsilon. Yes, good. It should be epsilon. If it should be an odd length palindrome, what should be coming here? A. A or? Or B. B. Good. So this is the production for the palindrome. Okay. So, uh, sorry. This is the grammar for the palindrome. So using this gra uh, grammar, uh, we can generate the palindromes. Whether it is so if I, uh, if this one is not present, then I'll be generating. So this entire grammar will be generating both the even length palindrome and the odd length palindrome. Whereas if this particular production is not present, then I'll be getting an odd length palindrome. And if this production is not present, then I'll be getting an even length palindrome. Okay. So the next question is, you have to generate the, write the grammar for generating even length string. So generate, uh, write the grammar for generating even length string. So even length in the sense, I can have the string length of zero. Epsilon can be there. I can have string length of two, four, six, eight, likewise it goes on. Okay, so what will be the, uh, so how it can be represented by means of regular expression? How it can be represented? Even length palindrome, that is minimal length should be multiple, that is the length of the string should be multiples of two. Okay, so how it can be made represented by S. So A R B concatenated with A R B will generate strings of length 2. Okay, so if it is going to be like this, then it will be generating strings of uh, um, e, uh, that is E and length of string, right? Length of the string will be multiple of 2. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So for this only, we are going to write the grammar. Please do try it out now. Please do try.
Can you please try? Can anyone try the grammar? So what should we have? So first A or B should be repeated twice, right? So for representing A or B, I should have a non-terminal. And then for representing it twice, I will be having another non-terminal. And then for this one, I should be having a, um, a non-terminal, right? So here A derives A or B, okay? So A or B is represented by this. Next, this A should be repeated twice, okay? So next B derives A, A. So now what happens A or B, A or B is generated, right? So next, what should I do? So next, this part should be repeated in number of times, okay? I can have it uh, zero times, one time, two time, or any number of times, right? This should be repeated in number of times, zero or more times. So what should I do? This B should be repeated in number of times. So yes, should be called again, or it can have epsilon. So what happens? It yes, derives B, F. So here uh, for this B, uh, I can either have, uh, so what, what happens? So yes derives A, A, yes, right? So what happens, let this A, 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 yes, okay. Next for this A, let me proceed with B, B, yes. Now this yes, right? So for this yes, either I can go for BS or I can go for epsilon. So let me in this case proceed with BS. Okay. So again, I will be having B A A yes, and then A B A A yes, right? And then A B A. In this case, let me go for A again. Yes. So now I can proceed with epsilon. Okay. A, A, epsilon. So what happens? So all the strings generated by this grammar will be a, it will be of even length. Okay, will be of even length. Are you clear with this? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. The next question is similar to the uh, similar. Uh, yes, A par N, B par M. One of your friend discuss right now. So one grammar. Okay. So A par N, B par N. So here you can note one a number of A's and number of B's are different. Okay. Number of B's and number of A's are different. So A is as you say. So here what I should do, A should be generated separately and B's should be generated separately. Okay. So whereas here number of A's and number of B's are of equal length. So the generation should be done at the same production. Okay. So whereas here the number of A's and number of B's are uh, uh, the number of A's and B's are different. So it, it, it uh, can be generated uh, separately. Okay. I can have three A's and I can have zero, uh, sorry, one B. Okay. So what should I do in order to generate a, I will be having one non terminal. So let it generate A. Okay. So here, what is mentioned number of A's and number of B's is greater than or equal to one. So I cannot have epsilon here. So if there is epsilon, so if it is zero, right? If it is zero, then I will be having epsilon here. So here in this case, I'm having one. So I'm having A here. And next is B is for generating this B power M. Okay. B, B or B. Okay, so the next what should I do? So here this will generate n number of a's and this will generate m number of b's. Then what should I do? I have to concatenate these two. So yes, derives a b. Okay, so please make a note. This is a par n and this is b par m. This will generate a par n and this will generate b par m. Okay, so the next please do try to write the grammar for 
a power n b power m c power m where n and m are greater than or equal to 1. So please make a note over here. So here number of a's and number of b's are equal and the number of c's are uh, uh, the number of c's is different. OK, so here already we have discussed how to write the grammar for a par n b par n uh, and we have seen how to write the grammar for a par n b par m okay similarly using those please do try writing the grammar for this one Can anyone come up with the grammar? Any response? Hey, what happened, Ma? I'm doing that one minute. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, ma. So, how we, we can generate A per N, B per N, ma? Ma'am, we use A, S, like A, A, B, capital A, B, or A, B. Yes, good. And C per M? C per M, just uh, C, uh, capital B, oh, C, capital C, and or C. Yes, good. So, this part, will generate this production will generate this part and this production will generate this part right so the next what should i do i we have to proceed with concatenation so s yes, derives a c okay s yes, derives a c so the next is a per n b power m c per n please make a note of this difference okay so here a per n b per m c per n where n and m are greater than or equal to 1. So please make a note over here. So here the adjacent uh, alphabets, right, are of equal length. Whereas here, so a for n, next comes the different length uh, alphabet, and next comes c, which should be an equal count of a. So what should I do? Whenever I generate a, I should generate c, and b need to be generated separately. OK, so please do see the difference here. So here I should generate A and C and in between I should have B. OK, so please see here. So here what should I do? So in order to generate uh, B, let me introduce a variable. OK, introduce a variable. So let it be B derives. OK. B derives B, B, or B, okay? B derives B, B, or B, right? The next comes 
a power n c power n okay a power n and c power n so please make a note so here this can be generated separately this can be generated separately and then we have concatenated so whereas in the case the concatenation is not possible because in between i should have b okay while generating this itself i have to introduce b where b should be of different context so what should i do so yes derives okay a in between i can have b okay in between i can have b b or a and b can be repeated any number of times right i can have a and b okay first let me have that one okay so what should i do i should generate a and c uh, yes a and c right so i should generate a and c uh, repeated n number of times right so what should i do a yes c so what happens a yes c in this end this will generate a and c n number of times okay and uh, n number of times and what should i do so in between i should have the component of b in between i should have the component of b so what should i do a b c a b c so let us check here so yes derives a s c right so here again let me introduce a s okay a s c c right and this time let me proceed with this particular production okay a a a b c c okay c c c so the uh, the number of a's and number of c's are generated now i am moving on to b so what happens a a a either i can have b b or b so here i am proceeding with b b here okay b b c c c so now i am proceeding with this b okay so here you can see right n number of a's and a's and c's and m number of b's okay so this is how we will be writing the production. Are you clear with this? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, good. Okay. The next is A par N, B par M, C, sorry. C par M, D par R, M, where N and M are greater than or equal to 1. So this I think you can uh, write easily, right? So A par N, B par N, these two should be of equal length and these two should be of equal length. Just we have to concatenate, that's it, all right? So please do try with this and as well try this one also. A par N, B par N plus M, C par M. First try this and then try this also. Have you all completed? So what is A par M, B par N? So similar to this, we have to write, right? So here A derives A, A, B or A, B. So which will generate N number of A's and N number of B's. And then I have to proceed with writing the production for C and D, right? C, B, D or C, D. Next, what should I do? Yes, derives A, B. It is a very simple one, right? Okay, have you all tried this one now? Have you tried this?
Yes or no? Trying? Are you trying this one? Trying, ma'am. Trying, ma'am. Ma'am, A is A B. Ah. Ma'am, I'm answering. Let me just you come up, ma'am. No issues. So here, just make a note. How it can be rewritten as this grammar? So here, A par N. Ah, yes, ma'am. A par N B par N B power very M. Good. Ah, very C good. Very M. good. Very good, ma'am. Yes. So this can be rewritten as A par N. A par n, B par n, B par e m, C par n, right? So similar to this, we can write this. So this needs to be generated separately, and this needs to be generated separately, and just concatenation, right? Okay, good. So A derives A A B or A B, and B derives B B C or B C. So whenever C is generated, B will also be generated, and similarly, whenever A is generated, B will also be generated. So what happens? Number of Bs will be equivalent to the sum of number of As and number of Cs. Okay. So here, A yes, derives A B. Okay. Next comes A par n, B par n, C par n, where n is greater than or equal to one. Can you please try with this? Equal number of A's, equal number of B's, and equal number of C's. At a time, we have to generate three terms. Is it possible for you to generate the grammar? Write the grammar. Can you write the grammar for this mark? What happens if A par n, B par n in the sense A and B can be repeated at the same point of time? So here, what uh, what is the language given? A, B and C should be of equal length. Will it be possible for us to write this particular grammar, context-free grammar? Please make a note. It is not a uh, yes. It is not a context-free language, right? So it is not a context-free language. So for this particular grammar, it is not possible to construct write the CFG. CFG is not possible. Okay. So the next is A par n, B per 2n, where n is greater than or equal to 1. So it is very simple. So here, whenever A is generated once, B should be generated twice. So can you please come up with the grammar? A par n, B par n. Already we have seen, right? So here, what is the thing? Whenever A is generated, B should be generated twice. Or we can write the grammar mark. Please do try, ma. Ma'am, is it ma'am A S B B or A B? Mm, very good, very good. Yes, derives B B. A S B B or A B B. Good. Or A B B. Yes, yes. Or A B B. Right. So here. Um, uh, when it is going to be equal number of A's and B's, then we will be having A as B, right? So here what happens, the number of B's should be twice that of number of A's. So whenever A is generated once, it should be generated twice. Good. Okay. The next is A power N, B power M, C power M, D power N, where N, M are greater than or equal to 1. So please do check with this grammar here. 
uh, here already we have discussed how to write the grammar for A power N, B power M, C power N, right? So here in between we inserted B power M, okay? So here in this case it is going to be combination of B power M, C power N. The equal number of B's and C should be there and equal number of A's and B's should be there. Please do try. So, in order to generate B for M, C for M, what should be my grammar? A derives. Can you can anyone come up with the grammar? A derives. A capital A D. A. A. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, fine. Oh, so I am talking of this part alone. Okay, come up, ma. Yes, derives A capital A. Sorry, capital S. Yes, please come up. Let me go in your way. A derives A capital A D. Or capital B. Or capital B. Okay. Yes, come up. Capital B derives mm. small b, capital B, small c, or BC. Okay, good. But what will happen here? A will be generated. What happens? A derives A, A, D or B. Directly we can go on to B, C, right? But uh, so here this will also be possible. This will also be possible, isn't it? Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yeah, so what should... Oh, just a small modification is required. So what should I do? So this one is good, but in addition to that, what should I have? Mm -hmm. It should have A and B. That's it. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, right. So please make a note. So here for in order to generate this particular sequence, we will be having this production, right? B derives B, B, C or B, C and this B needs to be in between A and D. So for that we are having A, B, D, right? And A can A and D should be generated n number of times. For that we are having this sequence, okay? We are having this sequence. Are you clear with this one? Maria, yes, clear? What about others? Ma, only two, three voices I can hear. What about others? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, okay, good. Okay, I'll be giving you some questions. Okay, please do try writing the grammar. So the next is um, A par M plus N, B par M, C par N, M, N greater than or equal to 1. So this is one question. So let, let us take, take down this question. And the next question is A par A par N, B par M, C par N plus M, where N comma M greater than or equal to 1. The next question is A par N, B par M, C par N, D par M, but N, M, sorry, okay, greater than or equal to 
once. So for these three questions, you have to write the grammar. OK, so please do try writing this. So I let me share this in the chat box. OK, so for these three questions, please do try writing the grammar. OK, because I also if I'm writing the grammar on my own, then it will not be useful for you. So please do write it. Try, uh, uh, take some time, so uh, uh, 10 to 15 minutes will be enough for you. OK, please do work on and uh, try writing the grammar. I'll be uh, asking you to say th that is give, uh, give the answer on the next class that is Monday. OK, Monday I'll be uh, randomly picking you up and I'll be asking you to give the answer for this. Are you clear with this topic? The problem is uh, while correcting the papers, those who have written. Uh, it is in a very proper way, OK, or else so the nothing is written. So what uh, what is the problem behind? I don't understand. 